If a married couple starts living apart, perhaps even in separate states, which state's courts govern potential divorce proceedings? And if there's a child involved, which state has jurisdiction over custodial matters? The Montana case of N. Ray Marriage of Merland examines these questions in the context of a never-ending birthday celebration. Carl and Heather Merland married in Montana in 1998. They had a daughter and later moved to North Carolina. Sometime later, Heather left Carl and her daughter and moved to Vegas. Carl and the child subsequently moved back to Montana, where they lived from 2002 to 2006. Heather claimed she was living in Texas at this time. In March of 2006, Heather showed up in Montana and requested to take the daughter for her birthday and return her after a month, which Carl allowed. Heather, however, didn't return and subsequently filed a dissolution action that May in Texas trial court. Carl filed a dissolution action in Montana several months later, but unsuccessfully tried to serve Heather in Nevada. Carl didn't effectively serve Heather until March of 2009. Although the court was unaware, Heather made an appearance by mail in the Montana action the following month, and it ultimately granted Carl's motion for default and issued the divorce decree, including a parenting plan. Heather then filed a motion to set aside these judgments. Her motion was granted, and a hearing was held. The court set aside the dissolution decree and parenting plan and determined that custody should be resolved in Texas, since the daughter had then lived there for nearly three years. Carl appealed, 